Uh, welcome to this new SaveJS podcast. And as I promised, as soon as I have an update regarding the free rear cameras of the Xperia 10 Mark II running on the SaveJS, I will give you a nice little short video. And in this video, I want to talk about my patch that I developed for the advanced camera application to allow support for the free rear facing cameras under SaveJS. So let's get started. So what you can see here right now is the normal, the main camera application running in video mode under the advanced camera application. What I found out is the advanced camera application has some issues with autofocus. So if I get like, for example, my controller here and put it in front of the camera, it is not focusing. It will keep focusing on me. This has some downsides, like for example, I cannot put something in front, um, but also some good sides because it's not losing focus. Even if I move around here and I keep the same distance with my selfie stick from the camera itself, it will keep this focus that I tapped to focus earlier. But of course, this is not the main po point here. Of course, I can also go to infinity focus, then I don't have this issue at all. But the good thing is in video mode, I can also switch to the ultra wide. I have to stop recording for this, but in general, I can show you now the ultra wide. So this is now the ultra wide camera lens using SafeJS and using the video camera. As you can see, you can get a lot more in the shot. Of course, it's not stabilized, but as I move a little bit, you see my face probably getting dark. As I move a little bit because of the ultra wide angle, you don't see so much of this shakiness. So the ultra wide angle is perfect for vlogging, I would say. And of course, I can also use the zoom lens. And I took some photos showing you the ultra wide, the normal and the zoom lens. So you can compare how the photo quality looks like on Selfish OS. Let's take a look at the zoom camera. Here's a shot that I took uh, earlier today outside of my window when an old timer was passing by and I used the tele lens and I managed to get this shot which works pretty nicely. Even if I zoom in, you can see mm, the dirt in the window, of course, because I was taking it outside of my window. Uh, but you can also see uh, clearly that the old timer is visible. You can see the man driving the old timer and you can see this little uh, figurine on the back. So you get the details here, even though it is some noise you can see here already creeping in, but this is normal for this kind of uh, middle mid range uh, device and the zoom sensor, of course, that uh, if it's a getting a bit darker, you can see, of course, the noise creeping in. Let's take a look at the next photo where I'll show you um, three different shots. This is the main camera. You can see it's very dark because it exposed apparently to the laptop screen that was very bright. And uh, you can see in the background, there was like a little bit of light going on. Uh, take a look at the picture frame here of Cowboy Bebop. You can see it is you know, pretty sharp, but we don't see much details because it's a bit underexposed. If I go to the zoom camera now, the zoom shot, you can see it's exposing completely different, completely different white balance because it's not exposing to the uh, laptop screen. As you can see here, the laptop screen is overblown completely. And what we can see here is now much more detail. You can see the dust on my little picture frame here of Cowboy Bebop. You can see all, all around dust. I think I have to clean this up afterwards. Uh, and you can see, of course, it's not noise. It's really dust that you can see here. Then the next photo, you can see the ultra wide angle and how wide it really is. You can see here even like a bluish light strain on the top left. And you can see it's also dark, but not as dark as the main camera as it wasn't exposing to the laptop screen, but it was exposing to the middle here. And the ultra wide doesn't have any autofocus, but you don't see it here in this case, but you can see it is getting a little bit blurrier because it's ultra wide. And how wide the ultra wide is, I want to show you later. But first of all, let's concentrate on the zoom on the tele lens a little bit longer. So this is the main camera lens. I tried to focus on this here actually, but I let the autofocus do its thing and it is actually focusing here on this leaf um, behind it, you can see. So you can get a bit of shallow depth of field, even in the front. And uh, now it is focusing on this. When I took the 
zoom shot with a tele lens you can see there's a slight color shift as you can see here a slight color shift really slight color shift but it managed to focus on this here you can see this is sharp and you can see the shallow doctor feel the natural shallow doctor feel that you can get because savage doesn't have any algorithms to do it um, in an artificial way that you can get here with this tele lens pretty nice shot and here you can see the ultra wide so ultra wide as uh, almost impossible all shots taken from the same position and you can see here this yoga mat is uh, slightly bended and it's so ultra wide because it is not having any distortion correction so on android usually you have distortion correction enabled by default so the view field of the ultra wide angle is a little bit um, less because it's just like doing this distortion correction so it's cutting a little bit uh, from the left and right and here it is not cutting from the left and the right so you get this ultra wide angle the next one this is little uh, artwork of martin luther uh, i think i got it as a present and it's a, in a little box usually sitting uh, here you can see the the, the coloration is um, a little bit fainted this is the main lens main lens has the best resolution has the best sharpness so you get this shot and as i told you already the main lens is also good for macro shots and as this is a pretty small uh, thing it is working nicely then the ultra wide angle just to show you how much wider it is from the same position you get so much more in the shot like all the cables my playstation 5 and here my serial ATA to usb adapter uh, and this is by the way the little box here where it usually sits inside and you can also see that it's very soft because the ultra wide angle doesn't have any autofocus so it is like always in focus or fixed focus um, and it is uh, trying to find something to focus on and usually it is the background that it's focused on so this is too close then we get to the um, shot with the tele lens and again the tele lens does a pretty good job i would say it's also focusing correctly on this but if i compare this to the uh, zoomed in shot from here i think this one is a little bit sharper and it's not artificial sharpening it's just the lens is a bit sharper and the resolution is a bit better and here you can see the colors are a bit shifting a bit duller here and i think it, the sharpness is a bit lacking but still you can get closer to the object and the next one daylight it's it's a crazy day i wanted to go out do the video outside but it then started raining like crazy and then five minutes later after i recorded everything this is what you can see sun is coming out this is the zoom in lens as you can see i was sh shooting again um, through windows so you can see a little bit of lens flare effect from the window you can see the roof here you can see the roof tiles here on the roof itself uh, you can see maybe a little bit of noise maybe it's dust of the window itself but this is the ultra uh, this is the the, the tele lens and then we go to the standard default main lens you can see the sun creeping in already which makes everything a little bit darker here again the exposure is too dark to see the tiles on the roof uh, but still good in terms of high dynamic range i would say we're a bit surprised here that the main lens can do pull this off and then the next shot you can see the ultra wide angle it's so ultra wide and it somehow also maintains the um, dynamic range so usually if you shoot against the sun this should be all black but it's not completely black as you can see details are a bit lacking you can see definitely the dirt and the reflections of the window that i was shooting off but you can see almost my whole balcony here as well which is like super crazy super wide angle camera lens i really really like it even if if it has some fish eye you can of course correct it later in post-production then the next and last shot uh, again showing how good the main lens is with macro shots i really like this lens so if you zoom in here you can see the little dust particles on my watch here the pulsar uh, kinetic watch that i have here you can read the the, the text here underneath here the, the number of the uh, device itself and it, how can i improve this maybe with the zoom in shot this looks oh zoomed in a bit better but if i zoom in 100 percent, you can see huh it's lacking a little bit there's a little bit unsharp here and there so it's not the same optics i think or maybe not the same sensor uh, it would be nice to have the same optics the same sharpness as the main sensor then it would be perfect also for for this kind of, of zoom shot can read it a bit better but it's if i zoom in here and zoom in even more if i want to zoom in a little bit more you can see i think you can see a little slight pixelation well, this is where it falls apart in comparison to 
uh, this one in 100% that doesn't have the pixelation but the kind of softness that you get here so it might be even in darker conditions better to use the main camera and crop in a little bit more than using the zoom camera but the cool thing is in Selfish OS you don't have to uh, rely on the software telling you which camera you can use you can in advanced cameras choose I want to use a telecamera and then it will use the telecamera even in darker conditions and then for the fun for the sake of it the ultra wide angle we can see yeah again it is not it doesn't have any focus so it's focusing on the background and if you see the background here the wine bottle yes sometimes if you're coding for selfish yes you need some kind of more inspiration and the wine bottle helps with this so this is basically my conclusion what do you think about the photos uh, that i shot with the Vance camera app on the selfish os on the xperia 10 mark ii so that's everything for this video i hope you enjoyed it you can like and subscribe for more safe shares content and videos and of course you can write down in the comment section what do you think about the quality of those three camera lenses on the Xperia 10 Mark II running Selfish OS with the advanced camera application. What do you think about the pictures? What do you think about the uh, videos? Do you see more noise creeping in? Do you see less sharp pictures? Or is the Selfish OS version more on par with the Android version when it comes to the quality of the three main lenses of the Xperia 10 Mark II? Uh, that's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.